in the week that we released the Pharmaceutical Innovation Index, which actually, if you think about it, is about who's won in the last five years. So who has uh, you know, got more drugs to patients? Who has launched those drugs successfully? Um, that's what it's about. And you know, we've got a new number one. We've got AstraZeneca at number one for the first time ever in the Pharmaceutical Innovation Index, which is a significant achievement considering where they've come from five years ago to, to today. <clears throat> but it put me in mind of, uh, um, there was a podcast I was listening to recently where Andy Weir, the man who wrote uh, the book that turned into The Martian, the movie with Matt Damon, and uh, uh, and and went on to you know become uh, uh, significant uh, as a writer in his own right. Um, there was a comment he made in his interview, which is you know how did it feel to win, and his response was well actually that's quite interesting because there isn't a point at which you win. So he said you know you you write the book and clearly some people like it and then you know, someone wants to option it for a movie and then they option it and then. And then they potentially get someone signed on and then he hears Matt Damon signed on and then, you know, it's being made and suddenly you're winning, but you haven't won. Uh, and then the movie's made and you're still not sure if it's any good. You turn up to the premiere and that's a big thing, and then, but you're still not sure if it's going to be successful. So he said there isn't a point actually on, on, on that when you sort of roll back, open the kind of champagne bottle and decide that you've won. And of course that reminded me a lot of pharmaceuticals because there isn't really a point at which you win when you're developing a, a pharmaceutical product because traditionally you think, well, you know, it's still alive, it's got through phase two, it's got through phase three, it's got through the FDA, it's on the market. Every day you have to strive to win with that product. And of course, that's a, that's a challenge because really what innovation measures is, is wins, right? It measures that you launched successfully. So if the innovation index serves any point really, it's in helping people understand that they did, that they won. Um, and then uh, the other thing that made me think harder about that was watching the premiere actually at South by Southwest of uh, Isle of Dogs, the, you know, the new Wes Anderson movie. And in that movie, and then with the subsequent Q&A with Wes Anderson after that, it was, it was interesting because um, he described this four year process of making the movie. And of course, the great thing about movies is that they, everyone gets to be name checked. Uh, to, towards the end of the, uh, the, the the credits, so it doesn't matter where, if you know if all you did was you know created the color palette that the designers got to use, or that you were the guy who moved the the, the puppets a little bit in the uh, in, in in that particular movie, your name goes on the on the credits as as they roll, and I suspect that you get you know you when you watch that movie are staying to watch that uh, that particular part of the movie, so there is a place where you know in most professions you get to win or you get to be acknowledged for having been part of that thing winning. And I think that's an important um, part of a culture change that maybe we need in pharma too, which is to recognize that we did win if we launched a drug. You know, we also won if we didn't, you know, if we learned something, if we contributed to it. But that, the, the, the definition of innovation versus invention is that, you know, there's a team that's contributed to getting it to where it is. It wasn't the original spark of the idea that led to the molecule being discovered or moved into the clinic or even the person who saw, let's, let's move this forward. It's everyone, right? It's everyone in the team that contributed to the, you know, the regulatory filing, to, to, the, uh, to the market access conversations, to the, to the people who got the clinical uh, trial investigators to you know, play along and recruit patients and all those things. There's, there's an awful lot of people who are equivalent to you know, best grip, um, who you know, uh, in our industry go and recognize traditionally, but, at some point, we need to come back and say, well, we won, you know, we won, we launched and we launched successfully and patients are now you know, able to get cured of their cancer, for example, or cured of their hepatitis C. So some of the reactions that we had to the innovation index is, you know, is, isn't this an industry that already recognizes itself? My view is that it doesn't. I don't think it recognizes its success as often and as boldly as it should. Uh, so if, if anything, the Pharmaceutical in Innovation Index is about saying that these are the winners. You know, it may well be that the larger companies get to win more often than the smaller companies. Well, you know, that's a function of size and scale, but, you know, good if you can use that size and scale to make a difference. And, you know, Steve Jobs famously said, you know, one of the greatest inventions of uh, humans is the company, you know, an organization of people with different skill sets that come together to create something meaningful. Um, so we talk about innovation a lot and it tends to get, you know, attributed to the people with the kind of, you know, the square glasses and the Polonex could go to, you know, CES every year. 
But in reality, the people who win on our behalf are the people that move all of that stuff towards market. Um, so, you know, I think it's important that we, re that we recognize that and sometimes recognize that we need to sit back and say, look, you know, our script got optioned, you know, or we got Matt Damon on board or, you know, we, we got it to the point of having it being made and it's good. All of those are times when we should maybe sit back and say, look, this is a significant achievement for us and that, um, uh, that a win is worth celebrating because it means something in terms of moving medicines towards patients. Um, so that was really the whole point. There's, you're going to see a lot more on the pharmaceutical innovation index and the contributions of the companies uh, to, to, to their placing uh, in the next couple of weeks. But actually, let's go back to, to what it's all for. It's because, you know, uh, you know, for example, AstraZeneca last year launched five drugs. And that's a significant achievement in an industry that tends to not, you know, launch many drugs every year. So um, I think that's a cause for celebration and I hope you do too. Um, and maybe to think of harder about, you know, should we be crediting all of the people involved? Should we be recording our activities along the way? Because, you know, another great thing from the Wes Anderson movie is, you know, they made the making of Isle of Dogs as they were making Isle of Dogs. It wouldn't it be great if we had that kind of track record to show people how, what goes into creating a, a pharmaceutical product? Not just saying it's hard, but actually showing how hard it is uh, and showing, you know, the small, meaningful contributions that everyone involved in those drugs gets to make every day so that's it you know short one this this time but um you know let's think harder about the fact that we win sometimes and when we win everyone wins so thank you